Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Gasta Gengar here, and today we are back with another episode of Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized. The last time we left off, we got the Blackthorn City Gym Badge after having having the gym leader Claire. Her name was Claire, I think, but the in-game name that they gave her was like Anne, so yeah, I'm a little confused on gym leaders who I don't know the name of naturally, and then the game tells me they're completely different name. But yeah, so we're all right to go take on the Pokemon League, but Professor Elm, I know his name, told us to come over here because some kimono girls wish to talk to us. Um, so basically we're going to be starting the process to get Lukia. So hopefully, you know, that happens. But first I'm going to start off with buying some supplies. Um, so when it comes to catching Pokemon, we're doing pretty well, uh, so let's just get like 12 of these. We have, thanks to our, uh, amulet and, amulet coin and lucky incense, my brain is taking a bit to boot up. Uh, today's been like a really slow day. Um, we can actually move on. Let's just get full restores. Actually, no, that's... Let's use some Hyper Potions. Um, let's get like... 30 of them? We have the money to splurge on medicine now, so we're good. Um, I forgot I needed to buy as well some revives. I have six, so let's just buy four. And then... I forgot to turn my phone off. Um, let's see. I need some full restores, right? <coughs> heals uh, three yeah we're gonna need like 20 and you can't buy elixirs right no um, big tip never ever buy max repels since they only give you an extra 500 steps just buy more super repels and when it comes to the pokeballs again I think we're good um, what do you got um, is it the normal heal balls and net balls yeah we'll pass uh, nut balls can be handy, I mean, I don't know. Alright, so let's get this episode. How? How is this possible? I can't lose to a bunch of uh, mere kimono girls. You were watching me, Chance? Yeah, that's right. I never thought defeating five kimono girls would be so hard. I got beaten to a pulp. You must have come here for the same reason, right? Don't get cocky just because you defeat a Team Rocket. These kimono girls are insanely strong. Go ahead, see if you can defeat them. But I'm not gonna back. I'm not going back. I don't want to see you win. So you know we're gonna win. You believe that we're gonna win. That's nice of you. Welcome. My name is Zuki. I've met you previously in Violet City. In order to bring back Lugia, we need someone with the right bond with Pokemon. We asked Mr. Pokemon to give this mystery egg to whoever showed the true potential. The egg was an eventually handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, and then to you. However, being pure alone will not be sufficient to face the power of this Pokemon. I must test you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry for that. Uh, I will attest how closely you have bonded with your Pokemon. Um, the only some people might understand that reference, but I know 98% of you will not. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. All right. So I think she usually has a Jolteon evolution, but for now she has a Crookedot. Um, I'm gonna switch over to Edgebird. Uh, you know, just for type advantages. Let's go with Aerial Ace, because why not? So that one was easy. Let's move on to the next girl. Uh, you are quite strong. You helped me in the Alex Forest. My name is Naoko. I am the one that's not so good with directions. My eyes witnessed you defeating Team Rocket when Kurt was in trouble at the Slowpoke Well. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. 
I like that battle, like, transition. Alright. Um, let's see. Ghost isn't super effective against Psychic in this generation, so let's go down to Metalhead. And then we can use Pursuit. Remember, Metalhead doesn't learn Dark Pulse, does he? I don't think so. That would be a real nice upgrade. Uh, that didn't really do much, so let's go with Psychic. It's not going to do very It's probably not going to do much. I thought I'd go for it since it's Stab, and he just disabled Psychic. Alright, so then let's go for Metal Claw. Let's see how well that goes. Uh, not very effective. Alright, so sending Metal Head out was probably a bad idea. Um, okay, it was a big bad idea. So let's go with... Uh, I wanna... Mm, I mean, yeah, let's try Edge Burn. Um, I turned my volume down on my phone. I don't know why it's still going on. Uh, let's see. Aerial Ace? Let's, come on, Edgebird. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oof. I'm sorry, Edgebird. Right, so, Cleopatra. Oh, you fucking- Oh my god. Why didn't I go with her right off the bat? Faint attack! Oh my god! Stab dark and super effective! Oh my god! That's how you know I'm having an off day. I didn't even think of her. Oh, you are truly strong. You are quite the trainer. I remember you chasing off that Team Rocket Grunt from right here. I must thank you for that. Although I am actually a trainer myself, she who knows the most speaks the least. I am Miki, the Kimono Girl. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. No. You made me fight the Team Rocket Run for nothing. Malcolm. And we got Monkey. All right. Um, I don't have any. Uh, Dragon's Breath ain't gonna do much. I don't know why I tried. Um, I'm trying to. Think who could do the most damage against him? If we had Weirdo, I mean that would be that'd be a good choice. But let's go with Mind Freak. I don't see him having a ton of special defense. Oof! But he is pretty strong. Uh, let's hope Psybeam can make him confused. Let's get the experience, the jet. We probably won't get much because it's a mud kit, but you know, it's better than nothing. Oh, you're good at Pokemon too. That. Hmm. I think we've got. I think we were on four. Excellent fighting spirit. You got me off the icy butt. You got me off the icy. You got me off the ice by pushing me from the back. I am the one who skates in sandals. I am Sayo, the kimono girl. I was listening in the dragon's den when you passed the test of the elder Pokemon. When you passed the test of the elder of Pokemon. Oh, Kulava! I really wish we had a Kulava. I really like him. He's just, old. He's just cool and cute. He's a good mixture of both, you know? And I'm sorry I gotta do this to you. Wow! Freaking root! Let's get a mud bomb off. So next is going for a surf. 
worry about your physical defense, dude. And there we go. I was so close, I almost had you. I am the last one. You were uh, you were so dependent about the Goldenrod Tunnel. I am the one who twirls even underground. I am Cooney, the Kimono Girl. I looked at you in wonder when you were thwarted Team Rocket's mission to take over the radio tower. You must show your strength to me now. Allow me to challenge you and your Pokemon. I almost flubbed that up bad. Um, so Jasmine, Poliwhirl, don't- we need an electric type move. I don't think we have any though. Um, let's go for a Nightshade, since you're not a fighting type yet. It shouldn't be, like, not very effective. Yeah, you don't expect to do much, but it's it's good chip damage, I guess. Um, let's try Dragon's Breath, even though I'm 90% sure the Dragon's not super effective against water. Eh, you know, that's, not, that's better than nothing. Um, let's try to get Jet up to level 35. If he lives through this, we're going to use a Hyper Potion. Okay. Uh, Luster Purge. Why? Like, alright. So, I keep forgetting this is an actual move. Like, I see it, and I completely forget it exists. Like, I don't know where this originally came from, I don't know which Jenna was introduced into. But I see it and I'm like, wow, that's a weird named move. Uh, the user loses dam uh, loser loses a damaging burst of light. It also may reduce the target's special defense stat. Um, let's get rid of protect. We're not using that much. Um, right. So I'm pretty sure when we get the Elite Four, they're going to be using like level 50 Pokemon. I'm trying to remember. Uh, we were not wrong about you. You're indeed worthy of this. Please take it. And then we got the title bell. Big sisters! I saw a big shadow of a Pokemon in Royal Island's waters! It could be! <gasps> Gents, we'll be at Royal Island's Island, see you there. And then I went and did the Elite Four. <laughs> now, could you only imagine if I just left them there with Lugia and some awkward silence? Alright, so let's go heal up our Pokemon and then make our way to the Royal Islands. Now, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a bit of a pain. To get down to the bottom, I'm not 100% sure. I think it was in the original golden or golden silver, golden ruby. Damn. I'm trying to. Th what do you think the new Pokemon games names are going to be called? Like we we got off colors a while ago, so now I'm like, hmm. Well, we've had letters, uh, like uh, like I guess I guess you can call Sun and Moon objects really. Um, letters, objects, and then like, it's, it's just like weird, because now you don't know where Pokemon's gonna go. I mean, I'm trying to think, what could, what, could, what could possibly be, like, a thing. I know that uh, Diamond and Pearl remake, hopefully, is coming soon. I really hope it does, because I saw a picture in Ruby, not Ruby and Sapphire, uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee in Silphco, where it's a redone version of, uh, the, 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 the mountain. I don't remember the name of the actual mountain, but it's like a redid, like, painted version of that. And I think we go through, oh, we don't have Flash, alright, but you know what? I think this glitch is fair. We don't have Flash, but, you know, at least here we can see where, where the fuck we're going. And this is our first encounter! I just now realize this is our first encounter in here. Okay. So, of course, this is Regigigas. He is very bulky. He has a slow start, which means he's not gonna move for a couple turns. Um, I don't know who to hit him with. I guess Cleopatra? I was checking... Eh, eh, 
Let's see who has the weakest move. Um, so Psybeam I know is not weak. Was that 65? Uh, I think we can go lower. Whirlpool? We, oh yeah, we can go for Whirlpool for the chip damage. Um, Faint attack? Yeah, that's not going to be the best. Oh, we can go for... <clears throat> wait, it's super effective though. Icy Wind? Nah. Uh, none of these. Uh, none of these. Pursuit? Uh, Alright, so we can go with Pursuit. Actually, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go with Pursuit. Um, it shouldn't do a significant amount of damage. It's not Stab. But the power of Metalhead alone might actually, yeah. Just because of how strong Metalhead is. Let's go with Sire. He's our second weakest Pokemon. No, actually, he is... I think he's our lowest level Pokemon. And so we obviously see wasted the turns we could have used on... Come on, Sire. Come on. It's times like this where I wish we didn't get rid of Yawn. Alright, so right now he is completely set up just for confusion hacks. Come on, Sire. Why'd you get a crit? And then let's see how much this does. Alright, so that's doing like baby chip damage. So let's throw an ultra ball at him and pray. One, two, three. Something's weird. I think the randomizer might have me messed up some of the. Uh, catch rate encounters or catch rates or maybe it's just yeah let's let's name you uh let's call you oh uh... hmm colossus i don't know how to spell that <laughs> and some of you are gonna be like what's well, just like shadow of the colossus i'm gonna be like ha you think i played that game I don't like a game. I know, hot take, right? Let's see. Oh, L. Oh. S S U S. I also could have just gone and named Titan. But Colossus sounds better. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we're on islands. Right, let's go up this way and hope that we can not get an encounter. Uh, Pokemon here are pretty decent leveled, so you know we might be able to get some experience for Mind Creep. <laughs> We're doing good. I was expecting to do like half his health and damage, but that's even better. So now we can actually uh, get some experience for this dude. Still upset we didn't get an experience share for this point. But Hypno, I don't think he dropped very much experience. Yeah, it's not going to be very effective. And of course, poison. Of course, poison. For the longest time, I'm just gonna say it because, you know, people need to know how stupid I am. Um, I did not know Drowsy evolved into Hypno. I thought they were two completely different Pokemon for the longest time. On I think maybe until Gen 5? 5 or 6. I always thought they were two completely different Pokemon. Mainly because of the one episode, like... The one episode in Pokemon Gen 1... Where, like there was an episode where it's like the whole town or like children or whatever were getting hypnotized into thinking they were Pokemon or some shit and like vice versa or something and like they made it seem like these Pokemon were like utter like complete opposites 
So I just always was like, all right, cool. So there are like two different Pokemon that counteract each other. And it's like, oh, that's cool. And then my friend, uh, I think it was like, I was completing the Pokedex. And I was like, oh man, I can't find a Hypno. And it's like, you have a Drowsy, right? I'm like, yeah, why? It's like, you know, Drowsy evolves into Hypno. And I was like, oh, it does? It's like, you, you, you were such a big fan of Pokemon this whole time you didn't know that. And we're like, Leave me alone! <laughs> also, I need to... Summary... Let's, let's move your moves around a bit. Uh, actually, no. Psybeam where Teleport is, and then... Yeah, let's, that's really the only change we need, because... I'm so used to just clicking the first thing that pops up that, you know... It's... Eventually, I'm just gonna hit Teleport without thinking in, just like that. You think that it'd be nice enough to put you in front of the ladder? Um, so it's gonna be really hard to navigate these caves. Um, so I think from this point on, I'm gonna be fast forwarding, mainly to save you the headache of me getting down to the well dealing with this bug, and also not with Flash. So I'll see you at the entrance to Lugia's cave.
Okay. And we're back. Alright, I don't... I think... I think this is it? I'm not sure. I'm lost. This game is really miserable without Flash, and I feel bad. Hey, we made it. Alright, cool. Please. Uh, please go ahead. But... I want to go over there. There's stuff. Vines. Oh, wild Charmander. That's nice. That's a nice boy. He's a, he's a nice boy. He won't die, but he's a nice boy. So I'm very, very anxious. I want to say about what could replace Lugia. I haven't... I also haven't seen this cutscene in a very long time, so I'm really looking forward to this. It would be hilarious if they replaced Lugia's sprite with something completely different. Man, that took way too long. Oh shit, I don't have a fucking... Ah, oh, goddammit. I don't have an escape rope. Oh no. I think I'm gonna have to end the episode after I catch Lugia and then be like, Alright, kiddos, it's time to end the episode and then next time I'll be where we need to be. Hurry up. Um, alright, I'm thinking of... After this, I don't know if we should go to Blackthorn City. Um... Mainly because there's a route, or there's like two routes that we missed that have Pokemon that we didn't catch. Oh man, I'm, oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry Victory Road needs Flash. I might actually need to go out and find a Pokemon who naturally learns Flash. Now, I don't think there's a reason to come all the way down here. Actually, no, I think the Lugia's down here. And that thing we just saw is a sh Yeah, this is definitely for Lugia. Yeah, I'm gonna heal up because, again, I don't know what this could be. If it's gonna be another legendary. You know, that's why he's using hyper potions on these. I, I have sh berry juice. Yeah, I think our Shuckle has berry juice. I'm not Shuckle, but you know, I think we have berry juice from a Shuckle. That's right. This is where we welcome Lukia. When the dance you uh, practiced many days becomes one with the sound of the title bell we entrusted with you, then Lugia shall come from deep within the waterfall basin once again. I think it would be better if there was a staircase on that middle thing and she just walked up and went there. Cutscene is great. So, alright. I want to see a remake of this game in like. I want to say let's go Pikachu and Eevee, but honestly, I don't like the chibi style. I'd rather go back to Sun and Moon, like character style. Actually, eh, not even that because. Okay. Eh. I want a more realistic character style in this, but. That cutscene would look way better if the waterfall opened to show like a cavern or something. When he, he just like stood up and flew out instead of just teleporting out. Um, so we've tried again and again to only fail a chance. Your heart is in complete harmony with the title bell and has finally allowed it to appear. Chance, don't you see? I must have been waiting for someone like you all this time. Wouldn't you agree? Mm-hmm. 
Oh my god. Um. All right. So I. This is it. This is it. This is the moment we've been waiting for. And now, what replaces Lugia? What is the new mascot for Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver? That was not. Are you serious? Bruh. It's a level 46 Nuzleaf? Um, shh, fuck. <laughs> Man, I was really hoping it would be something at least pretty cool. Oh my god, this is the problem with randomizers. You could have something really cool, or you can get a Nuzleaf. No, I will say, hearing Nuzleaf's cry come out of Lugia's sprite was pretty entertaining. Now let's try Faint Attack. Yeah, not too much. I want to use Icy Wind, but I don't... Oh, fuck! Alright, so basically, alright, so I I wasn't paying attention and I went to go to the bag, but instead I clicked run, and I mean, honestly, it's not that big of a loss, it's just a Nuzleaf. Um, we can come back here after the Elite Four and we'll try recapturing it again, um, mainly just because, you know, stationary Pokemon or whatever. Um, now again, I'm pretty sure that up here is a shortcut. Oh no, wow. I Why don't I remember this area? Oh, that looks hella cool. Well, um. Can I go back to the entrance? Can you just. Alright. So. We don't have. We have Dig. We do not. So, I'm going to have to end the episode here, mainly because it's probably going to take me a good chunk of time to get back out of the cave. Um, next time you see me, we'll either be in Blackthorn City or in New Barktown. Um, that was... Something. That was an episode. We worked really hard and I fucked that up bad. I would... I wish I made a save state or something before that fight. Mainly just for just just in case something stupid shit like that happened, but you know what what happened happened, and I'm not gonna beat myself up over a fucking Nuzleaf to be honest. With you. Like, come on, who really cared if I caught a Nuzleaf or not? But I hope you all had a wonderful time, like me, because I really didn't enjoy working that hard for a Nuzleaf. Um, so if you like the video, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you want more videos like this in the future, and follow me on Twitch. Uh, if you want to watch me stream, I usually stream on Mondays and Fridays, usually starting around 6 p.m., uh, maybe a little bit earlier, depending on what's going on that day. And, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and until next time, bye bye <laughs>